Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss important questions of liquid liquid extraction, which are mostly asked in an interview. If you know the answer to any question, please comment in the comment box. And if you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Idda. So let's see the questions. What is a distribution coefficient? So, the ratio of the concentrations of the solute in the two phases is called the distribution coefficient or distribution constant which is denoted by K. Hence from the definition, formula for K that is distribution coefficient can be written as K is equal to Ca divided by Cr, where Ca and Cr are the concentrations of the solute in the extract and the raffinate phases. The distribution coefficient can also be given in terms of the weight fraction of the solute in the two phases. In contact at equilibrium, K is equal to Xa divided by Xr, where Xa and Xr are the weight fraction of the solute in the extract and raffinate. Now next question. Define selectivity. So, the ratio of concentration ratio of Salute to feed solvent in the extract phase to that in the raffinate phase is called the selectivity or separation factor. It is denoted by beta. So, if B is the solvent, the feed contains A and C, where C is the salute, and A and R are the equilibrium phases, then the selectivity or separation factor that beta is given by beta is equal to the ratio of weight fraction of solute C to the weight fraction of feed solvent A in the extract phase divided by the ratio of weight fraction of solute C to the weight fraction of feed solvent A in raffinate phase it can also be written as beta is equal to the ratio of weight fraction of C in A to the weight fraction of A in A divided by the ratio of weight fraction of C in R to the weight fraction of R in R. Hence it is a measure of the effectiveness of solvent for separating the constituents of a solution. That's why for better separation by extraction operation the selectivity should be greater than 1. Now next question. What are the selection criteria for the selection of solvent in liquid extraction? So while selecting the solvent in liquid liquid extraction, factors like selectivity, distribution coefficient, density, recoverability are considered. So the first criteria is the selectivity should be greater than 1 for better operation because if it is equal to 1 separation by extraction is not possible then the next criteria is solvent should be recovered for reuse frequently by distillation and it also should not form an azeotrope with the extracted solute for low cost recovery, the relative volatility of the mixture formed should be high. And for the solvent to be vaporized, the latent heat of vaporization of the selected solvent should be small. The next criteria is the distribution coefficient should be greater than 1 so that less solvent will then be required for a given extraction operation. Then the next is the difference in densities of the saturated liquid phases 
should be larger for ease physical separation. Then the criteria is. The insoluble solvent in the original liquid solvent should be preferred. It should have. A high solubility for the solute to be extracted. So that small amounts of the solvent will be required. Then. Interfacial tension should be high. For the coalescence of emulsions to occur more readily. As the same is of greater importance than dispersion. The solvent should be stable chemically. It should be inert towards the components of the system. It should not be corrosive towards common materials of construction. The solvent should be cheap. The solvent should be non-toxic and non-flammable. The solvent should have a low viscosity. Freezing point. Vapor pressure for ease in handling and storage. Now next question. What is a ternary system in liquid extraction? So, a three component system is called the ternary system. In liquid extraction, the addition of a new solvent to a binary liquid mixture yields different types of mixtures or systems. So there are four possibility. So the first one is, the solvent may be completely immiscible with the feed solvent. This is the ideal case. This means this is an essential condition for solvent selection. Next possibility is, the solvent may be partially miscible with the feed solvent and form one pair of partially miscible liquid. Example, if A is the feed solvent, C is the solute, and B is the extracting solvent, then C dissolves in A and B completely, while A and B dissolve only to a limited extent in each other. This is the most common type of system. Next possibility is, a homogeneous solution may be formed. Then the solvent selected is not suitable and should be rejected. That means solvent may be completely immiscible with the feed solvent. Hence we cannot separate solute from solvent. And the last possibility is, the solvent may lead to the formation of two or three partially miscible liquids. Example in above example. A and C are completely soluble. While A and B. And B and C dissolve only to a limited extent in each other. That they are two pairs which is partially miscible. It is observed occasionally and not desired. Now next question. Why do you use a triangular coordinate diagram in liquid extraction? So, liquid extraction involves the use of systems composed of at least three substances and all three components appear at least to some extent in the extract and raffinate phase as the three component that is feed solvent, solute and solvent present in both phases that are in extract and raffinate phase hence to show the composition of three component the solubility and equilibrium relations are shown on a triangular diagram the composition of ternary systems can be shown by a point lying inside an equilateral triangle now next question where is the composition of the ternary system? Can be shown in a triangular coordinate diagram. So, the composition of ternary systems can be shown by a point lying inside an equilateral triangle. So in this triangular coordinate diagram point, P represents a ternary system consisting of three components C, A, and B. In the ratio of perpendiculars PL, PJ, and PK respectively. Now next question. What is the binodal solubility curve? 
Consider a system consisting of C that is acetone, A that is water, and B that is methyl isobutyl ketone at 25 degrees Celsius, wherein acetone is the solute, water is the diluent, and methyl isobutyl ketone is the solvent for extracting the solute. So, the binodal solubility curve is a curve that indicates solubility of the A-rich and B-rich phases. Upon addition of C, in this diagram, point D shows A-rich phase and point A shows B-rich phase. The curved line ERF indicates the composition of the saturated MIC layer that means saturated methyl isobutyl ketone layer and the curved line DQF indicates the composition of the saturated water layer. Hence the curved line DQFRE represent the binodal solubility curve. All points outside the binodal curve represent single phase mixtures. The area under the binodal solubility curve represents a two-phase region that will split up into two layers in equilibrium with each other. Now next question. What is the tie line? So, the line joining equilibrium compositions of the two phases is called the tie line. In this triangular coordinate diagram, line QR is a tie line, which shows two layers that have composition represented by points Q and R. The points of tie lines must be found by experiment. Now next question. What is the plat point? A tie line of zero length is known as a plat point. At this point, phases become identical, which means that, at this point, single phase solution is obtained, and which does not split into two phases. The plat point must be found by experiment, and at a given temperature and pressure it is fixed. In this triangular coordinate diagram, point F is plat point. It is not necessary that the plat point is at the peak of the binodal curve, and tie lines be parallel. So that's all about important questions on liquid liquid extraction in the next video we will discuss another set of questions if you like my video please like my video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel